We are here with Mark Teague, celebrated children's book writer and illustrator. What was the first book you illustrated? The first book I illustrated was also the first book I wrote. It was called The Trouble with the Johnsons. And it was a story about a little boy who's, who's just moved to the city. And um, he wants to go back. He's, he's very homesick. He wants to go back to his old house. And the trouble with the Johnsons is that they're dinosaurs. And so it's kind of funny for me looking back on that because here it is almost 20 years later and I'm still doing books about dinosaurs. I was always pretty artistic as a kid and I always liked to draw a lot. And um, I, I actually think that the thing that was most helpful to me growing up was that my dad was, was changing jobs pretty frequently. And every time he did, all the old stationery would come home. And so I had just reams and reams of blank white paper. And for me, it was just like a playground. Um, so I was always drawing, and, and then I always loved books, too. So it, it felt natural to me to start writing my own stories and, and drawing the stories. Too. Then I got a job in a bookstore in New York City. So at that job, I learned a lot about, um, about children's books because I was around children's books. And, and I started to admire what, what the really great illustrators and authors were doing in, in picture books. And, and observing that, that, that gave me the inspiration to go home and, and write my own first book. What were some of your favorite books growing up? When I was, when I was a really little kid, be, before I even knew how to read, um, was Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Even if you don't know how to read as a kid, you can, you can read that book just by looking at the pictures. It, the, the pictures tell the story beautifully. Tell us about your new book. How Do Dinosaurs Go to School is, is a lot of fun. Um, it's the fourth book that I've done with Jane Yolen in this dinosaur series. The whole idea of, of putting these, these great kind of improbable creatures in a school setting is very funny in itself. It gave me so many opportunities to, to, to illustrate all, all those sort of things that, that kids do that maybe they shouldn't do in a classroom. It's a lot of fun. For your LaRue books, you both write and illustrate. So the first one was a, a book called Dear Mrs. LaRue, Letters from Obedience Schools. So it's about a dog who's, who's been sent to obedience school and he doesn't really think he belongs there. He, he thinks he's a pretty good guy and, and so he's a little upset with his owner for sending him there. The next book in the series is called Detective LaRue. And then the, the third book in the series is, is the, the one I just completed is called LaRue for Mayor and, and in that one LaRue is, is running a campaign, a, an election campaign. Any fun or funny reactions to your books from kids? A kid um, who whose favorite book was How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight. You know, he had this, this kind of crazy writing, and, um, but he wrote this letter and he, he told me how he loved the book and how he liked to read it every night before bed. And then at the end it, he said, P.S. Demetrodon is not a true dinosaur, it's a synapsid. And I had to go look up what a synapsid was and the kid was right. Thanks for sharing your stories with us. Well, thank you very much.